Well, good morning. Good morning, and thank you for welcoming those around you today. And I just want to say welcome to you as well, whether you're worshiping with us in this room or whether you're worshiping right here um, online or up in the venue. We're just so excited to be spending part of our weekend with you. My name is Becky Johnson. I'm on staff here at Pathway, and we get to continue to worship through our giving. So I'm going to invite the team to go ahead and come forward. We're going to be ready to do that in just a second. You know, we just sang some songs about the goodness of God, God's faithfulness, um, how he's always good and how he's been so, so good to us. But I realize that sometimes as you're walking in uh, with the week that you've had or maybe the season that you're walking through, it can be hard sometimes to wrap our minds around the goodness of God when we're walking through something challenging or difficult or distressing. But I was reminded this week of Romans 8, 28, where it says that God is working all things together for the good of those who love him. All things together for the good of those who love him. And I don't know about you, but I find rest in that. I find assurance in that, that no matter what my circumstances look like, that I can rest and that God is working those all together. And there's no better picture of God's generosity except when we look at his goodness and his faithfulness that never changes. So as we have the ability to come back to him today and give out of what he's so generously already given us, things like his goodness, things like his faithfulness, we can come to him today with humble hearts and grateful hearts. So let's just do that together today. Dearest Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness, Lord, the abundance of your goodness, your faithfulness that never changes, that we can rely and rest on that in the midst of whatever we're walking through. The good times, the difficult times, Lord, you're there, you're good, you're faithful. And we thank you for the way you so generously give that to us. So Father, today, as we're able to give back to you out of what you've already so generously provided for us, Lord, we say thank you. And we come to you with grateful hearts and just ask that you use our gifts back to you for whatever you're doing in the world within your kingdom. And Father, we love you and we thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, if you can just make sure the buckets take it all the way across the aisles, then we will be around to pick those up in just a minute. And we wanna let you know um, that soon you're gonna be receiving some information on an even easier way to give online and even some text to giving that is coming your way. And we just wanna make you aware of that. You'll be getting more information about that really soon. Well, the, um, uh, the other thing that I'm excited to be able to tell you about today is for the 18th straight year, we are able to participate in Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child. And if you're unfamiliar with what that is, it's, uh, it's shoe boxes that you get and you get to fill up with little gifts that then Samaritan's Purse will deliver to kids who are in developing countries all the way or all across the world. And not only at Christmas do those kids get Christmas gifts, but they get to hear about the hope and the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is valuable, more valuable and important than those little gifts they get as well. But they get those at Christmas and they get to hear that message by um, you taking a box. And so today at the end of uh, service, as you exit the building, there are gonna be volunteers at each of the doors and they can give you a box and inside that box are instructions on how to fill them and when to get them back, which is November 3rd. We wanna make sure we get them back in time to get them to Samaritan's Purse Uh, so that they can get them to the kids on time as well. So make sure to grab your box and take advantage of that. It's a wonderful thing to do at Christmas. Christmas may, may seem far off, but it's actually coming up before you know it, just around the corner.